Good morning, it is Friday, September 2nd, 2011, and we are getting ready for the Labor Day weekend forecast. And I'm looking forward to Labor Day. We could certainly use a break. Unfortunately, we might not get that as far as rainfall. Well, the good news is that for today, all the way on through Sunday morning, this high pressure system, and trust me, there's a high pressure system up here, will be in control and produce generally comfortable weather conditions. Temperatures will be near normal, a slight increase in humidity due to the southerly wind, but for the most part, nice weather conditions. But this tropical depression here and this cold front here are going to interact and create some problems for the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area for Sunday all the way on through next week. Why through next week? Well, you see, the trough that supports this cold front, which you can see right here, is lifting to the north and east and will generally focus the majority of its energy over the St. Lawrence River Valley and southeastern Canada. Now, what that basically means for Sunday is that this cold front is going to approach the northern mid-Atlantic and then slow down and start to stall. That on one hand is good because, well, we won't be dealing with severe thunderstorms in my opinion because for the most part, the majority of the shear and instability will be located over the central and northern Hudson River Valley and of course, New England. Now with that aspect in mind, when this cold front starts to stall and this tropical depression, potentially tropical storm, Lee starts to move into the Gulf Coast and eventually into the southeast, all this moisture has to go somewhere, and that moisture is going to go right up the coast, which produces a threat for constant showers and thunderstorms, and these will be tropical showers, by the way, which can produce very heavy downpours, basically from Sunday afternoon all the way through Thursday, because this tropical moisture will continue to stream up the east coast ahead of this stalling cold front. Now what's really important here for the forecast that I'll be showing is where exactly does this cold front stall? If this cold front stalls, let's say, off, off of Long Island and off the New Jersey coast, then this high pressure system here will be in control and for the most part, weather conditions will be pretty nice. That's being seen on the GFS model guidance. However, on the European model guidance, which right now has a little bit better support and is handling the weather pattern a little bit better, the cold front stalls right around the Delaware River Valley, and you know what that means. That means this moisture continuously gets streamed up the coast through much of New Jersey, eastern Pennsylvania, southeastern New York, and of course Connecticut. Considering the amount of rainfall that's already fallen over this region, that is bad news. That basically is going to mean that we're going to have a threat for significant flash flooding if this pattern does in fact set up. Also, I want to point out there's a disturbance right here in the Western Atlantic that is starting to develop. Now, you might be saying it's moving away. Why would it impact the northern Atlantic? Well, this disturbance could become a tropical depression or tropical storm and may have an influence on the pattern over the North Atlantic. If we get a slight negative NAO pattern over the Canadian Maritimes, that would slow down this cold front and set up the stalling pattern. I believe the European model guidance is starting to see that potential and thus the weather forecast. And of course right on the edge here is Hurricane Katia, which someone told me because I complained about it yesterday, how do I pronounce the name of this tropical storm is Katia. So there we go. Now let's take a look, let's zoom in a little bit on our tropical systems. This is our tropical depression that is starting to develop. You can see the convection starting to wrap around the low level center. There's a trough around Texas that is causing a great amount of shear, southwesterly shear. So that's pre preventing the majority of the thunderstorms to develop around the low level center. And will keep this tropical depression from developing into a strong tropical storm or hurricane but there is a potential for this disturbance to become a tropical storm and potentially become tropical storm Lee. Regardless of whether it's a tropical storm or not, this disturbance or just this tropical low pressure system, should I say, will move towards Louisiana and produce a great deal of heavy rainfall. Model guidance is suggesting rainfall amounts over 20 inches, 
which will of course cause a great deal of flooding throughout this location of Louisiana and throughout the Mississippi Delta and eventually this, this, this tropical low will move into the southeast and potentially right up the east coast as a remnant low pressure system not as a tropical storm or hurricane. Further out in the Atlantic here we have Katia. Now Katia is going under a great deal of shear. You can almost see we stop this right here. There's almost a separation between this area of convection and this area of convection. So where is Katia centered? Well Katia is centered all the way down here. So what's happening is that we have a strong trough over the central Atlantic and that trough right now at especially at the mid levels is creating a lot of shear over Katia and causing the majority of the convection to develop on the northern and northeastern side of the circulation. Unfortunately it looks like that the shear is going to start to end and over the next 48 hours Katia will have the potential to develop into a hurricane once again and potentially a major hurricane. So does Katia have any impact or potential threat for the east coast? Glad you asked that. Let's take a look at the European model guidance. Now as you can see, here we are right now, you can see our tropical low pressure system is developing. Here's our trough. We go out to 48 hours, We basically tomorrow night. And you see our trough approaching, you see our tropical low. We have a disturbance over here over the Atlantic. Pretty much dry conditions throughout the northern Atlantic, which is great news for Saturday, which means that we can actually you know, enjoy the weekend. Now, as we move forward in time, you can see this is by Monday night. Monday night we have the cold front stalled. Let me go back for a second. See Sunday it's approaching. Sunday night it's approaching. We have moisture streaming up the east coast and we have a threat for scattered showers and thunderstorms. Not widespread now a washout. And again we move towards Monday. That trough is moving very slowly. The uh, potential here for scattered showers continues. We have a tremendous amount of moisture at the mid-levels and upper levels from our tropical storm moving into the Mississippi River Valley and eventually into the southeast. And that moisture has to go somewhere, so it moves due north. And as a result, we keep this weakness over the southeast and over the eastern United States overall. Here's Katia, you can see right here. And with all this moisture moving up, along the cold front that is now stalled over the region. You constantly get this threat for showers and thunderstorms. Again, not a complete washout, but these showers will produce heavy downpours at times. And as we move on through the week, you can see this trough is just basically meandering over the Mississippi River Valley and the Tennessee River Valley. Here's, here comes Katia. Now, what's, what has to happen here is that this trough this trough and this extension of what's the remnants of tropical, tropical Depression 13 and possibly Tropical Storm Lee has to kick Katia out over the Atlantic. And as you can see as we get to Thursday evening, Katia is getting awfully close to the southeast coast here. Now in the long range guidance, you can see this trough starting to lift east but it's a very weak trough. If we're dealing with a major hurricane here, we might be dealing with some problems heading into next weekend with Katia approaching the east coast. Now at the very least, it's going to produce enhanced surf along the New Jersey coast, so there will be a problem with riptides later on this, uh, later on next weekend if you're heading out to the beach. But as you can see, as we move out in time, this trough is expected to kick Katia out into the Atlantic, but if this trough is weaker or a little bit further west, then we're going to be dealing with some problems along the east coast that we're going to keep an eye on. Right now, I think it's staying off of the east coast based on all the model guidance, but it is a threat that we need to monitor and keep an eye on. That's the forecast for today. I hope everyone enjoys their holiday weekend. I hope everyone gets their power back. Obviously, if you don't have your power, you probably aren't watching this video but believe me I feel your pain and hopefully everyone gets back to normal by this weekend and enjoys an excellent holiday weekend. Have a great day. I'm your meteorologist Stephen DiMartino and this was the NYNJPA Weather Productions.